Hey everyone, it's Megan Elizabeth with AboveRubyStudio.com. Today is a bonus Tuesday tutorial. I'm doing two tutorials in one day. I just showed cutting out vinyl using the Silhouette Cameo. And now I'm going to show you guys how to take our SVGs that I'm giving away on Fridays and we have available in the AboveRubyStudio.com store. They are kind of basic, simple shapes and designs and we have some really more intricate and fun designs coming out as well but for right now we're doing some basic ones and I wanted to show you using the silhouette software the silhouette studio that comes with your machine not the silhouette studio pro the pro version allows you to import SVGs without doing any cheater work or anything else or just use the library of images that it comes with or the silhouette store and all those things are really great and wonderful I really like them a lot, but you want to be able to use some of your own designs and different things like that, like even the Megan Elizabeth stuff. So when you finish the checkout process, oh, by the way, you guys still have one more day here to get the Kaboo bag. Um, what you're going to need to do is once you finish the download process, you need to open up your zip file. And I already have everything unzipped, and I went through all of this already with everybody, where you get the FAQ, and you get the image, and then you get the actual SVG. So this is the butterfly zip file all ready to go, unzipped, extracted. I'm going to click, double click on the SVG file itself. That's going to bring it up in my Internet Explorer just as an image. And that's great. You can drop the SVG anywhere you need to, and this is an actual SVG file. But what we need to do for kind of cheating the Silhouette Studio software is right click on it and click Save Picture As. And we're going to save this as a PNG file. And this is just the way that I found that I got the cleanest cut. There are many different ways of doing this. Um, you're going to save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it to. So I'm just going to go to desktop and save. And I'm going to hit yes. And then what I'm going to do is bring up my Silhouette Studio software. And you can see in here there's your My Library and then you have My Own Design. And I'm going to import my own design. So we're going to do import to My Library. And from the desktop, we're going to select PNG, and we're going to scroll down and find our butterfly. There's our butterfly. And you can just type in what it is. It's a butterfly. You can add different keywords that you can search for it really easy as your software expands. And you can just call it Butterfly by Megan Elizabeth. That keyboard's not working today. It's ticking for some reason. You can just type in who it's by. And then you can just do a regular cut. You can select what you want to save it as, if it's a print and cut or a rhinestone or whatever. We're going to do regular cut. Hit OK. And then you'll see it comes up as a My Own Design. You can double click on it, and that's going to bring it up on your virtual cutting mat. I'm going to change my virtual cutting mat to be a smaller size. Let's do a letter size because I'm going to use the um, adhesive back cardstock that Silhouette has. You can then click on the butterfly, you can drag it around, move it around. I'm going to make it huge. I'm going to make it really big here, right on my paper. We're going to just make it as pretty big. And then what we need to do is go to our little trace icon. It's up here in the right corner. It has like a little blue thing and it says open trace window and that's what we want to open. We're going to select our trace area. So you want to click on this and then you just use this go over the full area of where your butterfly is just like that that's what we're tracing now I don't exactly know what all these trace settings mean I am not 100% certain I plan on learning I am not a techie person at all but I really do enjoy this and I figured out how to make it work that I can cut out these SVGs so this is what I'm sharing with you I have changed my threshold to be between 50 and 70 percent I found works the best and then what I do is a trace and detach. That's what I click on. Once I do that, you should be able to move out of the way your PNG file, just like so, and you can see the traced image right through here. And then I'm going to delete the PNG. You don't have to, but just for ease of what I'm looking at, I like to delete it. When I'm done the trace set section and settings, I'm going to come up here to open the cut style window. It's a little scissors with the red line. And my software isn't responding for the moment. That's okay. Okay. Then once uh, we click on this, we're going to hit Cut Edge. 
and it's going to bring up red lines, and that red line is what it's going to cut out. We're not printing, so I'm not worried about this pixelation thing at all. I'm worried about cutting it out. So all I need to do is put, click on my cut edge, and that is going to cut out my entire butterfly. So you can just then go over to your cut setting screen, make sure you're on the correct weight, make sure everything is correct. It shows you where to place it on your mat or if you're using the bars. I'm going to just use the vellum. You can see if I just click on the vellum or the vinyl rather, it's going to remove the cut mat and show you where you need to place everything and where you need to place your rollers. It's awesome how it's very intuitive to tell you what you need to do to set it up to make it as um, easily working for you as possible. We're going to just leave it at that and we're going to just press cut. And then you guys are going to see how this uh, finishes out and cuts out on the Silhouette Cameo. Thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you had a fabulous day. You can really see here um, the intricacies of the curves of the edges of the butterfly, how it cut out. And like I said, I just cut it out on the Silhouette Adhesive Back cardstock. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a fabulous Tuesday. Make sure you check out the other video. And I will see you again soon. Enjoy the moment. Bye-bye.